Anyways, what's up everybody on YouTube? <laughs> As you can see, me and Jeff Boy, we're having some deja vu right now. <laughs> At least it's not snowing. Oh, yeah, that's true. So yeah, we're swapping the RB20. Uh, he's going 25 now. Because I have problems. Yeah, so we're back at it again, pulling this bitch. All I gotta do is pull the radiator, full training, engine mounts, and she's done. There's less documentation of this process, but look at the other video if you care. It's, it's identical. <laughs> yeah, it's the same, same, but different. But more frustrating this so. time. Leave a comment down below if you think Jeff should Jay-Z swap his <laughs> 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 We got this fucker pulled. Empty Skyline engine bay. Loading it up right now. It actually went much better than the last time. So hopefully the 25 will be coming in soon. We can get that shit knocked out and stay tuned. <laughs> fucking back folks <laughs> god damn it a few weeks and a few thousand dollars later yeah we have this beautiful thing that you can't see very well at all because there's lots of things yeah of but he got a rb25 it's actually got a lot of nice parts on it got a nice old gritty gritty intake and uh fresh foot some other fancy things that are hidden some pretty valve covers that Already scratched. But yeah, I got a new clutch already put on. Uh, we gotta throw in the new little thingamabob here. We'll mate the transmission to the motor and throw the motor in the car. So, I guess. Good luck us. You know, you've probably already seen this shit, so we're just gonna do it again. <laughs> We got the tranny all made it up, insertion level 1000. Got the little brackets, everything all tightened up. Uh, what else did we do? Got the starter thrown in there. Over here, mounts swapped out for the Skyline chassis. So now we're just gonna drain the tranny fluid, pull that shifter out, and then I think we're ready to fucking slap this bad boy in there. Well, we ran into a little difficulty. We had to swap out the uh, the engine mount brackets kind of down there that you see the mount attached to. Um, if you get an RB25 from a Laurel and put it in your Skyline, these brackets are different. The angle that the actual mount puts the, or the bracket puts the engine mount doesn't line up with your subframe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got the mounts to freaking line up. See that one's in there too? Uh -huh. Kinda. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> it's right where it needs to be. <laughs> oh, well, oh. So, oh my God, it's been a long night. It's getting longer, so we got the shifter in. It winds up perfect though, so that's amazing. Um, we're trying to get the tranny cross member in now, and then we're gonna call it a night resume tomorrow but some dumbass put a jack right where the fuck it needs to go for the cross member <laughs> and that dumbass is your boy dr jenkenstein he's an excellent doctor folks. He, yeah he's fucking certified <laughs> <laughs> certified hey. youtube mechanic hey, yeah you get what you pay for though <laughs> so the cross member doesn't fucking fit well it fits but it doesn't 
No, it doesn't. Uh, it's no Jay-Z, but it'll do, pig. It'll do. <laughs> this is blue. <laughs> So we got the, uh, uh, whatever this is, what is this? We got the cross member done. Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> As you can see, we measured nuns. Some of these holes are a little wonky, but looks good for, for being under the car. And... Alrighty, folks. Big fucking moment here. We got uh, a lot of the wiring kind of figured out. I mean, don't mind this and stuff. And it's kind of a rat's nest, but I ended up having to sp like remove all these three chassis plugs from his RB20 harness. Figure out the functions of the wires. I got a lot of them to pins and stuff here, you know. Uh, and then splice them in, not even splice them, depin and repin into the new harness for the ECU. So that way the chassis stuff all jives with this uh, new harness. Really, kind of ready for first start. We got, I mean, we don't have an in intake pipe, but we're just gonna try to see if it cranks and see if my wiring actually kind of works. But um, throttle body, we kinda gotta figure out some stuff there for a bracket. Gotta figure out the piping. But uh, wiring is quote unquote done. Fuel lines are good, exhaust is hooked up back here. Water lines are hooked up, which are a bitch. And everything else should be good. We got cooling in it, oil in it. He does need to get a new drive shaft because this is your 25, which is like, you know, half my thumb right there. And your 20 is, well, it's less than that, we'll say that much. So he doesn't have enough girth to rock the earth. But let's see if she starts. That's a good start. Got chassis power. Look for spark. It cranks. Hold on, turn it off and listen for the fuel pump. I don't hear the fuel pump. So that might be a relay issue. If you're ever doing this, harness, you gotta have power here because that's your chassis harness coming from your fuse box to your car. So Jeff, go ahead and turn on the key. You hear that loud ass fuel pump back there? I miss that sound. Go ahead and try and crank her, bud. Yeah. Smell it. As many times as that pump keeps pumping up there, yeah, you can smell it. You can smell something. I mean, this feed line is hard as hell. I guarantee you got fuel at least in the rail. So, see. Spark would be the next thing. So it's a new day again. It's day like three or something of wiring. We uh, we're having a not great time. We went through and actually pulled the whole harness again. I fucking unloomed all of it. Pulled out the wires we didn't need. Found a couple wires that we did kind of need to connect and just figured that out. I didn't film any of it because wiring's boring as shit to watch. But we put it all back in and we still weren't getting spark. So checked this plug here. It wasn't getting 12 volts. And I, I'm a lazy shit and didn't feel like tracing this all the way back through the ECU and stuff. And what we did as a temporary fix is spliced into it here, ran that wire straight to the battery. This is a test and now we actually have spark. So Jeff boy putting in the uh, coil packs. We know we had fuel, we know we had spark and we at least have a math that reads something. Uh, we still got fabrication to do on the intercooler piping, but just to see if she'll fire up. I'm thinking, thinking she'll start. So it's gonna be the moment of truth right here. I hate GoPros. They fucking suck. They lost the audio on our first start. But the excitement is still there. Listen to this.
<laughs> it runs. So happy. Do it again, Jeff. Do it again. Give him the beans. It starts. This better have audio. I'm gonna break this fucking camera right now. But I'm happy. He's happy. <laughs> Very good. Now we can button everything up, and our little splicey spice boy worked. We're good to go. Jeff boy is down here. Uh, oh, putting in a drive shaft. Then you can fill this tranny up with fluid. And first test drive. We're having issues with the clutch slave cylinder not getting enough pressure to actually disengage the clutch while we were while the car was running. So we went through and bled every single junction on that whole system one by one and now it works. So we're gonna finish bleeding the coolant, uh, which yeah it's kind of mucky, but whatever. And then uh take her on her first test drive. You got big dick. Just do it real quick. It's only incredibly hot. Touch it. <laughs> just touch it, man. No, it's Come on, just touch it, man. Just touch it, man. It don't feel good. Cause Jeff's a weenus. Mm. Hot ass don't sound very appealing. Now they're just coming and working on people's shift for free. Friends, well, how many of us have them? Friends, none. ones you can depend on. This thing's moved under its own power in a few months. Yeah, it's been really weird. Oh, just because the throttle cable? Oh, that clutch grip's good. It shifts a little rough? Oh, yeah. She may need trans fluid. Mm. Holy shit, bud. Staying true to my own fashion, I forgot to film an outro for all of the RB25 swap. Basically, got the car dialed in, actually ended up taking it to a drift event, and then uh, taking it to Pikes Peak. So, um, Pikes Peak video I already made. Obviously, I moved quite a while ago. Um, you can kind of see out in fucking Florida. This is actually where I work on my cars now. So, that's 14. I got a truck to haul my shit with, and uh, the mystery car. <laughs> If you can't guess what that is already. Regardless, I'm rambling. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm um, catching up. I'm making an effort now to actually edit, get caught up, and then hopefully I'll get back in the wind because clearly I'm uh, still working on, on the car. Gonna go CDO 9. I already have the tranny, have the swap kit, have all kinds of stuff. I have a smaller turbo. So the build continues even though the channel has not been getting uploaded to uh, frequently. So gonna get caught up. Like, comment, subscribe, keep watching the channel for more shit on that, on 
that and then maybe even some stuff on that so appreciate you tuning in don't forget to play in traffic Thank you.